this is Kansas Roman coming at you again with another reaction. You're damn right. <laughs> Guys and gals, skins and skinettes, I hope that you're ready for this one, y'all. I know that I am. Mr. Ryan Upchurch has dropped another video about four hours ago, y'all. The name of this video is called <laughs> Harry Coochie Country, man. <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited to dive on into this. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm going to say before we do. Please give me one of these. One of these. Comment at the bottom. Let me know what you like. Also, hit that red bell and that red subscribe button so you know when I drop another video. Y'all damn right. Now, let's dive on in. Let's get it now. Ha-ha. <laughs> We interrupt the important shit you're doing to bring you something you don't care about, so you giggle a little bit. <laughs> so you giggle a little Tonight, bit. A transgender woman <laughs> claims she was harassed by a worker at construction site. <laughs> All right, so if y'all have been following the past few days, you know there's a him, her named Danielle who really wants my attention, but I can't give <laughs> him, him, her, my Danielle. attention because... It was Valentine's Day yesterday, and that's for just my regular her. You know what I'm saying? You see, Danielle can't really take a joke because Danielle hasn't been on a construction site or done hard labor before. He's never been in an environment where guys crack on each other and talk shit to each other to make the time go by faster. Man. If somebody cracks a joke on Danielle, Danielle Facts. throws him hers purse and goes and makes a tweet about it. You see, the other day I started cracking on Danielle, a.k.a. Harry Coochie Stop Country, it. to the point where he got so frustrated and aggravated. Every time he says that, man, just cracks me the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I want to know where he comes up with these titles, man. <laughs> tweet about it. You see, the other day I started cracking on Danielle, a.k.a. Harry Coochie Country, to the point where he got so frustrated and aggravated and upset that he went home and made a YouTube video acting like a bitch. Acting to the like point a where bitch. The bitch come out to the outside. He literally put a wig on and everything. You ever make somebody so mad they have oh, an involuntary really sex did. change, bruh? But some of you probably already seen Danielle have this kind of behavior before. Like a long time ago when Danielle got caught slipping in GameStop. Okay, Excuse me, it's ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, it's ma'am. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I've already seen Danielle have this kind of behavior before. Like a long time ago when Danielle got caught slipping in GameStop. Excuse me, it's ma'am. <laughs> it is ma'am. It is ma'am. Beforehand, you fucking said, sir. You fucking said, sir. Fucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. <laughs> you want to call me a sir again? I will show you a fucking sir. <laughs> You see, now that Danielle went back to Dan, he thinks he can get on YouTube and just walk around like a really shitty 20 minute long Folgers commercial and do Folgers things like commercial. talk really slow and deep and loud, make firm hand movement. Dude, really <laughs> he hella sounded like Harry Coochie Country right there, man. Hand movements, that's how it fucking sounds around like a really shitty 20 minute long Folgers commercial and do things like talk really slow and deep and loud, make firm wow. hand movement, and everyone's just gonna believe everything he fucking says. Trotting up to the camera with his cup of homebrew, doing things like turning his head sideways and breathing through his nostrils really deep. Yeah, onion grass weird. in the wind. Hello, onion America. grass, onion grass in the wind. Say hey, hello to us all you want, but you still look like an eight-year-old American Eagle model that just, like, grew all the way up overnight and just didn't change his clothes. I mean, dude, you're wearing the same exact pants in your little fucking GameStop freak out that you are your badass music video. I mean, fuck, you didn't even change pants. <gasps> didn't even change pants. Never thought a beer and thought a mask could be a crime. Like, what the fuck is that? Hello Kitty jeans? This motherfucker was the first person at the door on Black Friday. <laughs> did he say, did he say Hello Kitty jeans? <laughs> He said, hello, kitty jeans, man. <laughs> up overnight and just didn't change his clothes. I mean, dude, you're wearing the same exact pants in your little fucking GameStop freak out that you are your badass music video. I mean, fuck, you didn't even change pants. <laughs> didn't even change pants. Never thought a beer and thought a mask could be a crime. Like, what the fuck is that? Hello, kitty jeans? This motherfucker was the first person at the door on Black Friday at Limited 2 and needed some pants for his music video. Or hell, probably not. He's got politics shoved so far up his ass, he probably thought on Black Friday he can go to Target and meet Ben Carson. <laughs> Could you imagine? Black Friday. And so meet Ben Carson. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Yo, that's facts, man. This dude is like, 
Like, bro, you're not, I don't even know, man. This dude's content, it's like, I think he's starting to run out of content because there's no fucking political fucking, sh I don't know, man. I don't fucking know because I don't, I never really fucking watched the fucking dude. Like I said in all the other videos, I didn't even know who the fuck this dude was before. Uh, he went and hung out with Ryan and shit. And even like after that, I still didn't really watch any of his fucking videos. So yeah, but I, I just couldn't, I, I couldn't just have a channel solely on political shit. I could not do that. Me personally, I could not do that. I would lose my fucking mind. I would lose my brain. Like, oh, dude, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This dude's a fucking she weirdo. Thought on Black Friday, he can go to Target and meet Ben Carson. <laughs> could you imagine? Black Friday sale, everyone. This fucking asshole pulls up looking like a drunk dude on Panama Beach during Fourth of July. Where's Ben? <laughs> Is Ben here? Look, man, been I here? you're from like around Austin, Texas, but you're not Alex Jones, okay? But you probably should go over to his website oh, and get some Oh, damn, help. man, dude. I wonder if that's who the fuck he's trying to be. <laughs> no, bro. No, Harry Coochie Country. No. Vitality, because whatever you've been purchasing, probably from some other country and got estrogen in it. I mean, you have cried a lot the past few days and been in your feelings and started dressing up like a woman. But then again, you are a fan of mine, so you probably just copied the old Vine skits I did from back in the day, thinking it would work for you now. Hmm, Damn. it's making me wonder about you, Harry Coochie Country. I mean, Harry you told me these stories about you being in the rodeo. What part did you play? Because, hey, I do know about some Texas stuff. You sure you wasn't the buckle bunny? <laughs> How fast can I go try to catch that little bit of rodeo? <laughs> I love when in he does rodeo, this shit. In the rodeo, out of the rodeo, you're still a fucking clown. How fast can I go? <laughs> I gotta watch that again, man. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> uh, uh, how fast can I go? <laughs> you sure you wasn't the buckle bunny? Ew. How fast can I go try to catch that little bit of rodeo? <laughs> in the rodeo, out of the rodeo, you're still a fucking clown. <laughs> Some people getting their feelings. In the rodeo, out the rodeo, you're still a fucking clown. <laughs> and lay down at night and open their pink furry diary and write in it how they're depressed because everyone's picking on them because they're a country guy who can't drive a stick shift. And so out through the woods at 60, 70 miles an hour and almost wreck terribly, but correct everything with the hand movements of Keanu Reeves. He is sending it. Whoa. Some people at age 19 are spoiled rotten and cuss their parents out for $20 for gas and thinks their life is over when grass stains are on their Nike shock. Man! 19 year olds like me and my friends were busting our ass helping build America on job sites with a bunch of roughnecks just cutting up and having fun. Cutting up, having fun, you're damn right. And before you make some unicorn comment like, oh my God, what's up with his... Some unicorn comment? <laughs> Roughnecks, just cutting up and having fun. And before you make some unicorn comment like, oh my God, what's up with his phone audio or what something gay like, like that, just know it's a space heater. You probably don't know what that is, but it's a space heater. <laughs> See, there's proof of who I am, which is why I'm respected by the working class. Man. So as far as the haters go and the people that hate on him, they've all wanted something from him. Whether Man. it's a guitar player that put him on a song that had and that, And that's what the fuck this shit is right fucking now, what Ryan's dealing with with this fucking fuckface, hairy fucking country fuckface. Uh, the motherfucker wanted Ryan to write songs for him. Ryan didn't, period. You wanted Ryan to write songs for you. What What the fuck is that, dude? No, 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 no. Like Ryan told motherfucking Cracky Tooth, motherfucker, if you, I need more money. I, I want more, I want more money. Blah, 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 blah. Fucking do more work, man. Do more work, period. Stop fucking wanting something for nothing. That's not how fucking life works. Period.
You got to fucking work for some shit. You got to believe for some shit. And you got to grind for some shit. You don't get shit for nothing, man. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of people just, Ryan, 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 Ryan. I want something for fucking nothing, dude. No. You got it fucked up. You're damn right. <laughs> the views that didn't do anything with it, it's Upchurch's fault. Man. The old boy from the video that Upchurch just released, Big Country or whatever, the, the out, whatever, heavy country, <laughs> whatever it was, still at the end of the day. <laughs> Wanted something from Upchurch, didn't get what he yep. wanted, and then wants to talk shit. Yep. I said it before. They're fucking haters. This the Upchurch has done nothing but good for people taking Facts. Fans, fans, no matter where he's at. Kids has a dope ass show. I've been to one Facts. of the shows. It's fucking, it was an amazing fucking show. No issues at the show. Man. We're being fucking haters and support the man for what he does. He does it on his own. He does it his way, and that's the problem. The dude, like I say, he's a people's champ. We love, Facts. we love him because of that. We love him because he's a normal guy. Yep. Yes, he's a rapper who 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 is in a country. Keyword, a normal guy. He is a normal guy. Normal guy. Artist who is very well known and is famous, but he's a normal guy. Yep. And he treats people normally. Yep. He treats people like humans. Yep. Um, he treats fans like humans, not just and it's, numbers. That's and what that's he wants to be treated like. Shit. Why we love him? See, because that's what he wants to be treated like. One, two. Like he said, he treats his fans like they're human. He don't treat his fans like like what the fuck is that fuck face his name? Uh, uh, the motherfucker who got a whole bunch of people killed at his motherfucking uh concert. Uh, didn't stop the concert and motherfuckers was dying. He don't give a fuck about his fans. Ryan will stop that motherfucking concert in, in hell, dude. Shit. He won't fucking start it until motherfucking everybody's fucking good, dude. That's the reason why we fucking love this dude. That's the reason why he's the fucking realest motherfucker in the game, man. Shit, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Being real, you're damn right. We've all created, me and these people... It's not something you can fucking act like with right. close to glasses and boot barn hats. There's not a <laughs> price tag or a store where you can go buy real. There's not a school where they right. can teach you how to act real. Right. It's just something you fucking have or you don't. Yep. And other motherfuckers who are real are going to notice it. Yep. Now, see, you don't have to explain yourself when you're a real motherfucker in real life. That's but no. Look at you. You're a big fucking swole cowboy. <laughs> Crying and bitching like a baby talking shit because Man. you're mad that I'm too real. That's fact. When I'm out here really picking up babies talking shit to a whole group of guys because they almost hit the baby. Yep. Hey, you lost your fucking mind. That's what you're doing with this beside, okay? Yeah. I'm going to kick you in the damn face if this kid gets hit. Yeah. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Oh, damn. I'm the people's champ. Which brings me to You're my damn right. I know you really want to get this play date together where you try to full mount me and live out your fantasies. But if you want to be an MMA fighter, go fight MMA fighters. I I'm not making your first fight this I love big this. fight that makes a million dollars just because you fought someone who's famous. I love Once it. Once again, this goes back to your fucking weird world. I love world that you said that, man. You're not a superstar. You don't... Yep. You're not. If you're going to do at all. like that, just fucking do it like a normal person. Antagonize me in real life when I'm at the gas station or something. Man. Like, fuck, it won't be the first time someone's done that to me. Think of y'all motherfuckers. Always running y'all's motherfucking mouth. Get your ass over here. What? Get it's your ass You spit on my car and was like, what are you going to do about it, fat boy? Pull over. Beat that no, ass. You've seen me mad before. You just think you have. You Anyways, you have. last thing I want to cover before Danielle wakes up and starts jacking off to faces of Steven Crowder on Google Images is his last bullshit video he made. You know, the I'm gonna be the bigger man. And then he put some quote from the Bible in the comments about Goliath and some other shit. You see, Dan posting this, I'm going to be the bigger man and all this shit. It's really some CNN shit, which is some I CNN the stuff shit. he didn't like. <laughs> That's crazy. He's like a white Don Lemon. <laughs> I would say a white. He's like a white Don. <laughs> Don Lemon. Dude. <laughs> That's on point, Bo. <laughs> Straight Don Lemon, but mm, I don't know. He tried mm, to cancel know. me. And then I get invited to the cookout. I seen the video from 2014 where you're like, look everyone, I'm sure it's the only fucking N-word. Where here's your updated video, you clickbaitin' bitch ass nigga. Oh! <laughs>
said he went down with that one. Church coming to the cookout. Church coming to the cookout. Church, church, I know you watching this. You coming to the cookout. Hey, on gang. That's my white boy. On gang. We have this thing called the sauce. And not all of us can sauce. have it. And knowing if someone has the sauce is how they present themselves, how they talk, how they treat people. Right. And it's evident that you've never seen the sauce, smelt the sauce, or even had it on a sandwich. Man. Now, let's be real. You're probably going to watch this video and make some stank face and be like, oh, what does the sauce mean? What does the yeah, sauce this is why you're not invited to the cookout. <laughs> and last thing, back to you being like, oh, yes, I'm being the bigger man. Tell the truth, bro. You tried and it didn't work. You tried and it didn't work. You can't own my last name. It's false. Facts. The only other thing that you could think to say was on some CNN shit. CNN A lie shit. to make you look better. You know, Man. just the same as you bitch about CNN making these headlines all the time. You do the same thing. Well, guys, I'm going to be the bigger person since I can't do it and I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. I have to say something. <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> oh, Danielle. Oh, I'm Danielle. so sick of this tyranny. All they do is create problems and then swoop in and try to act like the hero by fixing the problem Man. they created. Man! Hmm. Who does that sound like, little girl? Little girl. I told you, don't poke the bear, fuggin'. He <laughs> just walked poke into the, the den and was like, Hello, America. I'm here to interview you about Black Bears Matter. <laughs> you know, fucking with all of us over here is like breaking a mirror. Now you're going to have to deal with people calling you a sparkly, glittery cowboy for the next seven <laughs> years. Now your views are going to go down. Yep. Any music you make, no one's going to take it serious. Nothing. And you're always going to have that one little tiny strand of upchurch DNA in your blood. Yep. For the rest of your life. For the rest I of mean, your life. I mean, the best thing you could do is link up with the other dumb bitches who've done the same thing. Yep. You all fit in perfect with each other. <laughs> Y'all can sit in circles and hold hands. Sit in circles. And write things you don't like about Ryan Upchurch on a piece of paper. You can burn them and put them into a pretty bowl. And you can all eat ice cream and watch Netflix. Maybe get like Manny Petties with each other. Manny Petties! <laughs> and I mean, hey, look at the bright side of things. You won't have to worry about chipping or scuffing your acrylics. Man. You don't work. And it's not like you, you don't drive work. a stick shift. You drive an automatic. So an automatic. less chance of them getting chipped. Well, guys, I'm not going to make this video too long because the working class people have to get back to work. Uh, Man. Have a good rest of y'all's day. And uh, to Harry Coochie Country. And anybody that has a problem with Upchurch, not only do you got a problem with me, you got a problem with the rest of them fucking skins. That's yeah, damn right. talk about you and you respect it. Yes, sir. Now take those ugly ass jeans off. Now take them ugly ass jeans off. Yo, and that's real shit. That's real motherfucking facts, man. If uh, anybody got a motherfucking problem with my homeboy Ryan, he'll, uh, just like my other homeboy, uh, I don't know where, what reactor that was, but uh, we definitely on the same page, man. Uh, I got his back 210%, man. If you got a problem with him, you got a problem with me. My man has mad respect in the game. I have mad respect for him and everything that he's done for the game and for the music industry. You damn right, y'all. And that ain't going to change. So with all that said and done, y'all, you already know what I'm going to say. Peace, love, and happiness, man. Stay up. Stay safe. Stay Ooh, God damn, I can't even fucking finish what I'm saying. Think positive and speak positive. You damn right. Ha-ha! <laughs>